Okay, we are continuing here with chapter seven. This is part two of our, this is vid video number two of our um, chapter work. What we're going to do next is we're going to put an inner, inner shadow on this word digital that we just created. So I want you to come over here to the text layer of digital. I want you to actually double click it. I want you to come out here to the far end of the, the layer and double click it. And you'll get this dialog box. Click inner shadow. Click that whole layer and you'll get this dialog box right here. So we want to put it on multiply, blend mode on multiply the opacity on 48, the distance at 18, the size at 16. And what, and, and what we're doing here is we are putting a shadow within this mask. So hit OK. And you'll see now there's a darker effect. It makes it look really cool, that, that inner shadow. OK, next what we are going to do is we're going to click onto the model layer and this next part's a bit tricky. It's a bit hard. Um, we are working with a predetermined guide layer that the author has provided for us. So we're going to go into Window, and we are going to go into Paths. So go Window, Paths, and you'll see a panel that pops up with the speech path. Click it. I'm going to tell you ahead of time, if this doesn't work for me, I'm going to do it freestyle, and I'm, I want to intentionally show you your options because these are these paths can be really tricky. Okay, so what the author wants us to do is to change the font to uh, Myrid Pro. Let's come over here to Myrid Pro. And font should be about 14 and regular this time our spacing is going to be really tight because we're going to put some words coming right out of here of her mouth and the color of the font should be white okay and then capital so so far so good and then we have to write align it so again if this doesn't work I'm going to show you another way I'm going to zoom in on it so we all can see here okay so go to your type Make sure you're on horizontal type. We're going to come close to the mouth. See how that little bar goes across the icon there? Now we're ready. So click. And we are supposed to type in the, the words, what's new with games? What's new with games? What just happened? OK, G-A-M-E-S. OK, it's working. Okay. So we're going to hit enter and we're going to see this layer right here. What we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this layer by right clicking it. We're going to move on down here and we are going to choose, here it is, I just went right by it, duplicate. Hit OK. I want you to duplicate it again. I want two of them. So come over here, go right click and <laughs> almost got by me again. Okay, so we have three of them. So guys, when you duplicate anything, it's gonna go right on top of each other. So I'm gonna grab one here. I'm gonna come over here to this layer. I'm gonna grab it, I'm gonna move it down here. And then all we're gonna do is we are gonna click onto each respective layer. I'm gonna hit Command Let's see, let me do this. I'm going to click on this layer. I'm going to go edit, free transform, and the author wants us to tilt these a little bit and then edit them. So I'm going to tilt this down like this. I'm going to come over here. This is the original one. I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to come over here to the original one. Oops, not on the right layer. Click on this layer. We're just going to adjust these. Why are you not cooperating with me? Let me come over here to a different one. Okay, here we go. So we're going to tilt this one up. And we're going to move this one. I'm using my arrow tools. Okay, so we're going to go games. Okay, so the author wants us to change this, the other two, to music and 
bones. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to double click this T right here on my layer. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to just edit this. Click in here. What's up with phones? And then if you forget which layer, you can click the eyeball. That will tell you. So this is the next layer I want to edit. What's up with games, phones, and music? Music. Okay. And then I'm going to go free transform on this one, which is command T, by the way, on your computer. And then we're just going to edit this to kind of line it up, make it look good. Hit enter. Come over here. I'm using my arrow tools now to kind of get this precise. Okay, good. All right. Let me back out of this. That's pretty good. Let's go ahead and hit save before we do <laughs> anything else. Okay, so let's go ahead and close this out. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to, there's a little notepad here of text. We are going to add some text to the right side of this magazine cover. So before I go any further, I want to show you one thing that the author is uh, suggesting that we do. We can warp this text a little bit more. So I'm just going to double click this one. And I'm going to come over here to this T, this top T. We can warp text here. See where it says warp text? And we can choose some options. These are what the options look like. So we have been using essentially what looks like a flag option. So let's click that. And you can distort it a little bit more. So I want you to use your good judgment. The author is making a few subtle changes to these um, and wanting us to do a blend of 33 here, a negative distortion of 23, and a vertical distortion of plus 5. So this one should be 33. So let's go ahead and do that. 33. Okay, hit OK. So you can see how we can warp it a little bit more. So I want you to do the same to the next two layers. I'm going to go ahead and stop this video for part two. I'll pick it up on the next video, part three. We'll hopefully finish the text on the right side of this magazine. Okay, thanks for listening.